the party begin. The Bulls have repeated. Seekers, you know, to become only the third team to win three NBA championships in succession. Bound the cart right to Jordan. Time winding down. Michael for three. Yeah! 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 A winner! Oh! oh, yes, here comes Mike! Oh, there's... Oh, play it again! Five, four, Michael Strip got it back. Three, two, Michael falls, fire. Yeah! Oh! to go in the shot clock, 15 in the ball game. Michael will take it, he fouls, he scores! He threw it up, off balance and went in! 43 seconds to go in the game. MJ pushes it the other way. Here comes Jordan, all the way to the basket, leads it up and in, from coast to coast. Now it's a two-point game, 98-96. Pippen breaks inside, and Pippen got the shot. They go to Grant, the Paxson. Paxson going for the win! Here's Paxson for three! Paxson, yeah! During Michael's career, he had the rare opportunity to play on two U.S. Olympic basketball teams, the first in 1984, the second, the Dream Team, in 1992. The coach of the Dream Team was Chuck Daly, and he joins us now. Thank you. <laughs> Hear those boos? <laughs> well, you, those are respectful boos, see, because you guys had mastered these people for so long. But what was it like, finally, what was it like playing against Michael Jordan, first of all? Well, it was not a lot of fun, particularly when he was getting 62 or 63 against you. And uh, I found out during the Olympics that uh, it's better to have him sitting next to you or on the floor on your side, and he won't get 63 on you. <laughs> what was it like playing with Chuck on the Dream Team after him being your adversary for so long? I was very healthy. Very healthy. I didn't have to worry about people beating me up. <laughs> you know, it was really fun. I think he's a very knowledgeable coach. I think a lot of people kind of take that for granted. And uh, it was a very privileged opportunity for me just to understand his coaching ability, even though most of the time I was getting beat up. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck, now I know that you guys played a lot of golf, and somewhere I read that Mike was a soft touch on the golf course. I don't know where I read that, but I read it somewhere. And I realized when you came back from Barcelona, you had a lot of new suits. i tell you what, you know what the problem was? I did shoot 78 one day, and he remembers it. It was one of the few days with handicap I was able to beat him. Unfortunately, next year in Jersey, every time we played, he came by the bench and reminded me that I had won one day out of three weeks. That's the kind of competitor he is. He never forgets. You said before that Chuck was one of the reasons why your Olympic experience was so enjoyable. Yeah, he understood a lot of the pressures that a professional athlete goes through, and he gave us time to get to know each other, but at the same time, enjoy the whole experience, and uh, I really enjoyed that. Well, the Dream Team captured our interest like no other team has ever, so Michael, Chris, Patrick, Magic, Larry, Charles, light up the scoreboard one more time for us. the greatest team ever assembled in the history of team sports. 